beautiful soul family, it's Brianne here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Readings with Brianne. Um, I had a request to look into Australia. So I'm gonna be doing a crystal ball um, and tarot dive on Australia and see what uh, general messages or maybe anything specific that's coming up. And um, we're gonna go from there. So I am gonna take a few minutes and connect and I'll let you guys know what I find. Okay, so I've been kind of gazing into the ball and I gotta say the first thing that is really coming out quite prominently. Now, I'm just gonna let you guys know all these images that are coming in because I've got a bunch of different words and phrases as well. But the first thing I seen was different faces, um, but they I was also shown like totem poles for Australia and it's like these faces are kind of on these totem poles and it feels like this sense of um, certain individuals that will be in ranking. It's like a, it's like this new, almost like a new government, I guess you can say. I don't feel like this is any of our current leaders or anything of that matter, um, but it's like certain individuals that are will be highly just respected um, and it's like I have a, uh, I guess I have ranking or like it's a it's a symbolism of respect for certain individuals. And I seen them on their faces on totem poles. So, and it's kind of interesting because if you look at like the, the Indian culture and their ties to the land and, you know, the resources, it feels like these, um, there, there will be new, new kind of, I think people in leadership um, that are going to be much more, I guess, for the people you can say that, um, are giving back but it's kind of interesting i was given the word the self so i'm thinking like south australia as well and i was shown like it looked like whale a whale fin i could only see the the fins in the water like the um the tails so i'm not sure if there's something happening in the south of australia where there's um I'm going to say whales. I didn't see the whole whale itself, but I kept seeing in the ball the the tail of the whale. So I'll leave you guys with that information. <laughs> um, let's see what else is coming up now. It's kind of interesting because they did talk about a low star as well. And they've also given me this. They said WC9. I have no idea what that is. So I actually Googled it and it turns out it has to do with um, back in 2010, there was a near earth asteroid of, I guess, an Apollo group that was kind of being monitored um, in the in the Catalina Sky Survey there. So there's some information online a little bit regarding 2010 WC9. I'm not entirely sure why I was given that term, but be, prior to that, they were talking about a low star. Um, I feel like this could also be a lot of um, contact with other beings that, you know, Australia is going to be kind of one of those places where there's going to be lots of sightings as well. So maybe the low star is also a symbolism of a certain ships coming down. Um, now, something else that they talked about is it, it does seem like they are Australia is going to have a bit of a turbulent time. Um, they did say they gave me the, the phrase awful time. Um, not the greatest phrase to hear, but it's kind of interesting because they talked about first they talked about tests and they talked about awful time, but then they gave me the name Pfizer. So um, when you think back to the whole, you know, getting, being a force to get these mandates. And I mean, it was, it wasn't just Australia, it was many places around this world, but it feels like something is happening in Australia pertaining to that because I was given the word Pfizer. So, um, they did say, the word terror as well after that so i'm not sure if there's some kind of another scare or false agenda that comes up pertaining to that specific situation so we'll have to see um we'll pull some cards as well and see what else can come out with the tarot 
Um, let's see here. What else do, do I see? It's kind of interesting. It's almost like there's this image of some kind of like a ship, but it's like coming out of the water as well. Um, what do we have for Australia? wants to come out we got the bear yeah the bear could also be that symbolism of something that's awakening it's like the bear coming out of hibernation this is the collective the australia the people of australia coming to um look at that to an awakening to an enlightenment it's like they're seen through the crap <laughs> hmm And we have the eagle as well here. Um, interesting. <laughs> Bottom of the, you know, it could be fish that I see as well, but I see a tail. Um, and I think this is to do, they, they're talking about the south of Australia. So I feel like this is, I seen the tail and then they're talking about the south of Australia. So this could even be to do with lots of fish possibly, but something, um, different something bizarre unique happening in the waters near the south it feels like of australia um, and again i'm getting that bear that comes out and it's like i feel like this is people really coming to awaken and come together as a collective here we'll we'll pull the tarot and see what the momentum is um, and then we have the eagle as well here and it really feels like that energy with that eagle, it's all about the strength um, and the collect of the community coming together uh, and looking through, it's like the sense of freedom is what I feel like. <laughs> um, but let's see, uh, let's see if there's anything else or if we should get into the tarot here. Mm. I will say too with the with the eagle a lot of the times as well it can symbolize um, the communication and connection between man and spirit so with that them giving me the low star um, it feels like there's some kind of a connection that Australia is going to make with with maybe extraterrestrials I'm not sure if this is like a it's kind of it's interesting they did talk about a base as well so i'm trying to like put certain pieces together here to see what the energy is going on pertaining to that but i'm thinking with that eagle and the energy of men connecting to human or <laughs> men connecting to spirit sorry um it's it's like the discovery of something here because there's a base a base and something new they're talking about new and then a base so i don't know maybe there's something maybe spirit there's some kind of communication that comes through from a, maybe a base in the water um something of that matter i mean it overall it really just seems like they're to kind of end the crystal ball on a positive note, there is, it seems like a big majority of people coming out of the darkness, coming out of hibernation and um, waking up is what it feels like here. Now, um, I'm gonna move over to the tarot, but I always like to kind of Google and do a little bit of extra looking up when it comes to symbolism such as like with the eagle and the bear here and it's kind of interesting because the spirit um spiritual meaning and the symbolism of the eagle also symbolizes freedom but immortality for generations so it feels like there is a break and there's a lot of positive things that are going to be taking place um, now with the immortality what i'm getting maybe we can ask the tarot as well but it feels like i wonder if there is going to be um, a progress or certain good news when it comes to medical care or health the health services 
um, kind of like reversing certain things here because this is that feeling of immortality, right? And then it's kind of neat because we do have the bear and the bear is all about uh, connection um, as well as power and courage, but it's also about linking up with the natural world here and harmony with becoming in harmony with nature as well. So it feels like there's going to be a big emphasis on connection with the lands, connection with the animals. Um, yeah, really big um, bear energy here. And I'm wondering if those faces that I was seeing with the totem poles, if these are kind of um, that that sense of certain leadership qualities, but it's not um, a corrupt leadership or anything of that matter. I feel like it's a very respectable, respectable energy. But all right, let's get into the tarot and see what we can um, find out for Australia and the current momentum for Australia. Let's just start off with the current overall momentum of Australia, let's say over the next six months here. What's going on over the next six months for Australia? Well, maybe that one wants to stay. Okay, let's see what we have here. All right, so we have the Nine of Wands in terms of the people of Australia. They're kind of kind of on guard there. Oh yeah, we got the world. Okay, this is really good. This is the next step. This is a new cycle, changes happening. Um, we have the Knight of Cups. Yes, we have a Justice as well. This is looking really good, you guys. The Lovers, what? Oh my gosh. And that Six of Wands. Okay, this is incredible because I swear every time I do a reading for like a country or a certain place, I keep getting, you know, a little bit of chaos, but then there's this victory. And I even said that the other day um, when I was chatting there with a lot of you lovely souls and Brad there. It's like there is this victory. The Six of Wands seems to come out all the time. So I feel like behind the scenes, like things may be rocky or they may seem to be a lot worse than what they are, but I'm not getting like a big devastation or anything of that matter. Let's look at this card. We've got, we've got, oh my gosh, you guys, we've got the death card. Look at that transformation. Um, I was expecting honestly a little bit more of a shakeup to come out of this energy and I'm I'm really not getting that. But what I will kind of jump to is this is interesting because in the crystal ball, I was seeing a fin coming out of the water. So I'm very curious about this coming up. Now, the interesting thing is this is coming up over the obstacle here. So there was, there was one thing, I'm not really sure how to elaborate it on, elaborate on it right now, but they did talk about an intruder when I was connecting and it almost feels like this energy is an intruder energy, even though this is the Knight of Cups, but just looking at the energy and I was seeing some kind of, oh my goodness, this is really interesting because I was seeing some kind of almost ship coming out of the water. Um, I don't know. It looked kind of like a ship, but interesting that over the obstacle we have this knight of cups riding on his fish and it's, you know, coming out of the water here. So kind of an interesting uh, symbolism and confirmation of what I see in there. But if we kind of start with the collective here, we've got the nine of wands. This is really that ongoing battle from the people. Um, I do feel like we are really close to switching gears here, you guys. We're really close. So people are exhausted and there, there's a, the times are changing. The, the tide is turning here with the world over the next step. It really feels like people are coming together. They are connecting, working together as 
like as a group, as a community here. Um, this is success and accomplishment. I feel like the, everyone has went through so much and they are on their last legs, but things are things are about to turn here especially with this death card that flew out big transformations you guys got not even look at you got four major arcanas we've got the world we have the justice the death and the lovers here so again with the with the knight of cups so let's get another card for that let's what's the obstacle why is the obstacle the knight of cups was this an intruder coming in Is this an intruder coming in? Let's see. Knight of Cups for Australia. All right, so we did have the Eight of Pentacles that flew out in reverse. I mean, yeah, look at whatever is going to happen. I feel like there's going to be some kind of like fake scare going on, but it's not going to go very far here. Or it's like, this feeling that this there's certain news that's going to come out, but it's not going to fool a majority of the people because you got it. They have woken up. They've come out of hibernation here. And so I see this a majority of the people not falling for whatever it is that is coming out here. And I don't, you know, the Knight of Cups isn't necessarily a negative energy, but having this over the obstacle here. But what it feels like is there's a sense of disappointment here because um, I feel like the people were not given information that they needed and all this stuff is going to come out um, with this justice card. So there's, there's this sense of disappointment because they were not given what they, you know, they were not given all the, the details. there's lots of like hidden information so I feel like in terms of I don't know exactly what this is pinpointing but overall it feels this sense of feeling of the people in Australia are going to be really disappointed because they they're the truth is going to come out and they're going to be baffled like why did we not know this or why have we never been aware of this you know maybe it's in regards to um Pfizer. I mean, I was given that and they gave me the word terror as well. So maybe there's some kind of big drama that comes up pertaining to that specific thing. But look at that double justice. There's definitely going to be justice when it comes to that situation is what it feels like. And overall, look at this. We have the lovers and we have the six of wands. So this is literally the Australian people coming together in union and collaboration with each other here. And it feels like overall, it's a massive success for Australia. I'm going to ask here about Pfizer here. What's the energy of the Pfizer situation in Australia? Ah, okay, so there is going to be some kind of balance coming in for the people. Um, it's like there is knowledge, um, there is some kind of celebration around this. Interesting. And we got the lovers again. Ooh. Interesting here. So it does seem like I'm getting nothing but positive cards, you guys, like really positive energies coming out for Australia and what's to come. Um, but in terms of that whole, let's call it the jab situation, it looks like there's some kind of justice behind it. Um, and there's, there's something going back to the people. So, I mean, I know out here, for example, I'm one of them. I lost my, my job because I refused to, let's say, get get that shot so i'm sure that goes for a lot of people that have maybe lost certain positions um you know and it really affected their lives there's some kind of celebration and justice around that situation what's going on for australia spirit all right we have very neat we have on the bottom we have community here so it does feel like a sense that there is some people that aren't going to like make that jump. It's like there's that orphan feeling, that feeling of being out in the cold. 
Um, so this could be in general the collective feeling out in the cold because they've been given misinformation for so long because there's something coming out here that's going to be very like foreign like what are you guys talking about like just very weird news and um it's going to be a bit of a shock and i feel like some people are going to come together a majority like look at the decks here this deck is big majority of people are going to come and band together but there's going to be some people that withdraw from this and they don't believe in the truth is what it feels like with this orphan feel. Yeah, so we've got the two, um, the two of swords here. So it's like it does feel like some people are going to choose to remain to be blindfolded here. They're not going to take their blindfold off. Um, but I feel like it's going to be a small percentage. I feel like for the majority of Australia, they're coming together. They're going to be a community celebrations, transformations, really positive once they they get some of this, uh, these hiccups out of the way here. Interesting. Let's get one more final card. What lies ahead for Australia? This is a time for healing. I love that. And bottom of the deck, prosperity lies ahead. So lots of prosperity to come. And it's kind of funny, off in the corner, I have this little B prosperity card that's been sitting there looking at me. So lots of prosperity to come ahead for Australia, but this is gonna be a great time for healing. And it's like that awakening with people opening their eyes and coming out of hibernation. Some of them may not choose to believe this, um the truths that are coming out because they're they're keeping that blindfold on there but for a majority of people it's going to be a really positive transformation and a shift so i hope you guys enjoyed that little tarot dive and crystal ball gazing um, i'm sending you guys all lots of love and blessings wherever you guys are and until next time bye for now